Hey. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. Good day. Howdy. And I may have answers. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the Strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The King himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot, I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews, until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one, but she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. What did you want to know? I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred, and the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? What do you have in mind? Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. Feed a man a bullet, you won't hear from him again. 
time you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time. Talk to you later. Hello. Someone killed Benny, the chairman's big shot, in his own casino. Violence begets violence. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. What do you want to talk about? More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. What do you want to talk about? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. What do you want to talk about? What's up? 
Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher, not even a particularly good one. Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Certainly. Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs, out-of-barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. Ah, I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. Caesar was one of the followers, before my time, of course. He wanted to rebuild the new world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad. In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Oh, sorry. There is nothing new under the sun. If agave and mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. Certainly. Me specifically? No. I'm sure Julie Farkas does, though. Lab coat, pointy hair. Answers to the name Julie Farkas, strangely enough. I'm sure she can find something for you to do. It might be kind of depressing and terrible, though. Caveat Samaritanus. See you around. What's up? Thank you for coming. Let's talk about that robot. The Brotherhood is all about keeping technology to themselves and using what they find to protect themselves. They are isolationist and belligerent. I have no doubt that they plan to use the data for weapons research. I've heard through our channels that it has some research that may be related to Enclave and Poseidon energy technology. I'd like to get what I can from it and use that data for the good of humanity, all of humanity, unlike the Brotherhood. First, I'm going to pull off whatever log data I can. Then I'll use some of the tech around here to upgrade its weapon systems. Shouldn't be more than a few days' work. Thank you. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can with the upgraded weapon systems. Someone killed Benny, the chairman's big shot in his own casino. Violence begets violence.
Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. I may not have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution. Fair? As the old saying goes, two's company, but three's a small army. Okay, I'm paraphrasing a bit, but you get the idea. McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Welcome back. It's been a pleasure. That sweetie sure is something. That's not a good idea. Oh, hello. I deliver things and stuff for the people here. They give me caps to do it. Bye. Watch out for fiends. Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people do anything for their sake.
Just gotta find me some sweet jet. the Brotherhood. You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. Drop drinking? I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm gonna die. I, I can't stop now. Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm gonna die if I stop drinking for a day. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is.
The pump is property of the king. You'll need to pay if you want a drink. Hey. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Those fools are from NCR. I love seeing those squatters in agony. We were doing just fine before those shits came here and made a mess of things. We don't need NCR eggheads wandering around confusing things. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Come on back if you have any interesting news. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? What? I need a fix now! Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. Never thought about using that combination before. Should be able to get through this with that. Thank God. I thought I was gonna die if you didn't come back soon. I'm gonna head to the Followers' Fort to get some rest and detox. You've saved my life, friend. How's it going? Man. Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal stuff. I don't think I've slept this well in ages. If you haven't tried it yet, he's been supplying the Wrangler with the stuff. So, what can I get you? We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. 
They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. Come back anytime. Come on, man, I'm dying here. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. Day. I hear Benny got force-fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls, and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Find escorts to fill the positions, and I'll pay double. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. For the right caps, I might be able to put in a good word. I'll let people know you're not such a bad guy. What do you have in mind? What do you need, then? 
The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Yep. just down the street. You're almost there already. Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy Wanna weapon Wanna get needs. lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Do you need assistance? That's phenomenal. Who did you find? They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery, and relapse would remain. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today, as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here, but honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Talk to you later. Yep. Something you need, kid? 
Hunting and killing, plain and simple. Bingo! Now, if you're done asking stupid questions, I have more important things to do. Be quick and quiet, and don't get dead. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here, but what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Yeah, go on. Scram. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Later.